All right, so as we start our ride here, the cars in front of us are parked in one direction. And while we're in the uh, entrance to this parking lot, the car takes that into context. And I say that because of what happens next. So you'll notice that our normal exit that the car wants to use um, is coned up. And the problem here is, you know, the parking lot tends to that. Now the car thinks it doesn't really have a way to exit. So it goes back around, but then with that context initially in mind of that driveway just being one direction, it thinks it can't use that to exit the parking lot. So we basically kept the looping around and around. Hey there, this is Tesla Robo Taxi Support. It looks like your vehicle seems to be failing to make progress. Correct. Yeah, it's stuck in the loop here. I see that. Uh, let us get you back on your way in just a moment here. Just give us one moment while we're working on a fix for this. Sounds good. So as we start our seventh revolution now around this spot of the parking lot, um, we do get another support agent on the speaker. Yeah, we're just uh, stuck in a loop here. Okay. Okay, for sure. And then you just started the trip, correct? Yep. Yeah, I just need to make, okay. a, make a right turn here where, where we are and then for sure. get us out. Give us one moment, please. All right, so the second support agent's ultimately able to get us moving again. So it looks like the car goes into reverse here. FSD still shows us engaged, but it almost feels like there's like a teleoperator that's pressing the uh, throttle because it's very, very slow. And you'll see it um, almost come to a complete stop once we put the car in a drive while they're making that left turn here out of um, the place where we pulled back to here. So you'll notice some back and forth there between reverse and drive. And then as we proceed forward, watch the speed here on the display. So you'll see the car come to a stop here. Almost like, again, somebody's trying to override what the system wants to do, right? And they're just continuing to hold that throttle there and then get it around this corner. And then once that happens, you'll notice the car picks up speed. And it then follows what looks to be updated navigation instructions that allow it to use that driveway that maybe it originally thought was one direction um, as an exit. And then that ultimately gets us unstuck here. So, you know, even though the safety observer didn't intervene on the screen, the support agent definitely interacted with the car. So I'm still going to count that as intervention. But, you know, even in these very tricky situations here, I'm glad that Tesla support has a process for this. Um, you know, this is something that obviously once the service gets more baked and is around longer and expands to other cities, this can't be commonplace. But I'm glad they have a way of dealing with it now. All right, y'all. So everything looks good. Y'all enjoy your trip, okay? Yeah, Be safe. Thank you very much.